New music, same old old school. It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and there's a new song out from Hailstorm. Now, Lizzie Hale and the guys from Hailstorm have been tearing it up for what, 15 years now? Almost 20 years? Um, she's an amazing vocalist. She's an outstanding guitarist. She's got the reckless power that a lot of us, kind of like a, a homogenization of, you know, Ann Wilson and Nancy Wilson with the guitar, with some Janis Joplin and some Joan Jett, a lot of Joan Jett, and just a smidge of Pat Benatar. Well, that's, that's Miss Hale. So they've been doing some amazing work. Um, and so I think the last thing we saw them do was some stuff with uh, Amy Lee from Evanescence, and I know that they're really good friends, and that's awesome. Um, so this one's called Back from the Dead. A lot of symbolism here. Not really sure what it relates to, but we're about to find out. Check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. And the merchandise store. Here we go. This is Hailstorm. Back from the dead. Hello. Okay, obligatory first 12 second stop to give your me a first impression. I always do this. Um, that was like serious 80s metal scream out. I mean, that's some like Quiet Riot, Twisted Sister, Motley Crue kind of shit right there. Where she's just the wail right at the beginning of the song and then don't drop the music. It's great stuff. Um, crazy imagery. She's obviously in the hospital. A um, little blood going on. Let's see where it goes from here. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna hit that tag. Don't worry. Uh, that drum tag was coming in. I was like, "Oop, stopped it at the wrong spot." But luckily for me, we can rewind and just check it out after. Um, I've always loved Hailstorm. Um, some of their stuff is playlist stuff. You know, when you're on road trips, you know, it's good stuff. It'll get you lots of tickets. Um, but they're really authentic. They're a really authentic band. And here's what I'm. This is why I'm saying it. I don't care how many really cool videos they put out because a lot of their videos are really cool. This one's kind of got a walking dead hospital kind of situation going on and guys are coming to life right before the rise right of the body bag is being zipped up. That's all cool imagery and shit. And Hailstorm as a band, as a fan of theirs, as an old school nerd, the guy on a YouTube channel, let me just say this. I don't give a fuck about this video at all. Why? Hailstorm is the best one. Okay, not the one of the best live bands you will ever see in your life. I don't care what their videos look like because I get excited when I see they're on tour. I get excited when they say it's Hailstorm and this band and this band 
and it looks like Lilith Fair if they don't give a shit. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, you don't believe me? Watch this. No, 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 no. Let me let me pull it up. Look you guys up right now, okay? No, this is this is great, okay? So let's say I'm gonna go to Hailstorm Rocks, right? And then we're gonna look at their tour, right? Let's take a look at their tour, okay? Right now, on August 31st, they're gonna be at the New York State Fairgrounds, okay, in Syracuse. Everybody in Syracuse, New York, get ready to have your face blown off. Because that's what they do. This stuff is gonna be great. Um, it's gonna be Hailstorm. Who else is gonna be there with them? Oh, they're doing the Chevrolet Music Festival. That, that'll be cool. Nice. Okay, so there you go. So it doesn't really matter. I've the the time that I saw Hailstorm, okay, was literally at a tiny little venue club bar. There's like maybe a hundred people there, and they tore it apart. Miss Hale, I don't like saying her first name, okay? I call her Miss Hale. Uh, <laughs> well, get up on that stage and make you believe in rock and roll again. So I don't care about this video. Is the video cool? Yeah. Am I doing a reaction to it? Yeah. But this band to me is better than any video that I'm gonna react to. And if you don't believe me, if as a subscriber to my channel, please, Download their music. Please check out this video. The link is in the description below. That's fine. But the one thing that I want everyone to do, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you have got to see this band live at least once in your life. Because if you don't, you're missing what is still alive about rock and roll. There are so many bands out there that are trying to fit into an industry standard. They're trying to fit into this, what, Everyone thinks they need to be uh, trying to do whatever the record label tells them to do and all this other stuff. But in a live venue, in a live concert, whether it be a music festival where they're one of many, many bands, or if you can catch them when it's just them stopping at a venue close to home, close to you that's smaller, it's an experience. It Hailstorm is one of the few bands from America right now that still reminds me of rock and roll when I was a kid. See, when I was a kid, my dad would take me to rock shows. That's what he did. My dad was a crappy dad, but what he did to make up for it was buy me all the Transformers and G.I. Joes I wanted. Still doesn't make up for him being a crap dad. But the other thing he did do was any time that he did show up and did take me, you know, on visitations and him and I would spend a couple weeks during the summer, we were always doing one, one of two things. We were going fishing, which I loved when I was a kid because we get to ride the boat. Or he'd take me to rock shows. He'd be like, who do you want to go see? And I was like, can we go see Van Halen? I was 12. He's like, can we go see Van Halen? And he's like, yeah, sounds like fun. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so my second concert ever, I was 12. <laughs> and I went to see Van Halen at the Cajun Dome. And it was the, it was the 5150 tour. So it was, a great, it was a great time. Best of both worlds. You know, it was all that good stuff. So, but back to this, if you want to know what pure, a pure live rock band that so many times you see the rock bands and, and they, they do these things to their voices and they change the sound and they do all this stuff on the album and then you go see them live and you're like, damn, they're way better on the album. That's not a good thing, okay? Hailstorm, I can honestly say 100%. They were a live band first, and then they hit. Seriously. Miss Hale and the guys in Hailstorm were touring, just grinding it out, playing amazing live shows until finally it was like, then they got a deal. Then they started making records. Then they toured with Evanescence. Then her and Amy Lee became really good friends. Then they did the collaborations. And then they started doing songs that just kicked in the door. Miss Hale is the current Pat Benatar. She's the current Joan Jett. Now, I don't want to say Joan Jett isn't Joan Jett because Joan Jett is still doing it, okay? So don't take that wrong. And don't say, uh, um, she's the, the new Ann Wilson. Uh-uh, Ann Wilson is still kicking ass right now. She's torn right now. <laughs> so, 
But for her, for my generation and stuff, she's just that callback that feels so good. So we're going to let this video keep playing and we're going to enjoy the video. But I'm telling you now, I don't care how many videos you see of Hailstorm. I don't care how many YouTube videos you watch, even if they're their live performances. If you do not at least buy a ticket and see this band live at least once, you are doing yourself a disservice. Because before the internet, before MTV, bands had to go out there and earn their fans with live performances. Hailstorm is really one of the few bands that still does that to this day. And um, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of bands that go out there and they tour and they work their ass off, right? Okay? We're seeing them, we're seeing bands posting like, we're finally back on the road. Yes, you know, like Ventercy did their, their first show in a long time, you know, and they were like posting about it. I was like, awesome guys, because you know, I was excited for them. But Hailstorm is one of those bands. So let's check the rest of this video. I just had to stop and share with you guys that this band is a little bit different than a lot of other bands. I know I do a lot of metal reactions. I know I do a lot of rock reactions. And I, I'm seeing a lot of new stuff that's making me go, wow, I love this band. I want to check this out. I've already checked out Hailstorm. And I'm telling you, if you haven't done it, don't get it twisted. They are really, really good live. They're better live than they are on an album. And that's saying something. Um, you guys remember Need to Breathe? I know they're not together anymore because one of the brothers finally left for good. But um, Need to Breathe was another band like that. Really good on their albums. But you see them live, it's a totally different situation. It's it's insane. They were insanely good. So anyway, let's 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 go. Let's come home. Oh, and this vocal she's putting forth, and yeah, she could do that live. That's regular. That's not her saving her best for the studio. Uh, -uh. no no no. She sounds like that live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great breakdown bridge. Great breakdown bridge. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, we're watching them do this thing, right? We're watching this intensity and stuff. And you're saying, yeah, that, that's for a video. No, this is actually her subdued. Um, again, 
Um, I was fortunate enough to see them before, you know, I saw them like seven years ago, eight years ago. So they were still popping, you know, because they were popping around the same time Paramore was popping on the back end of the Evanescence wave. And um, I just felt that they were just something a little bit different. But at the same time, they were classic rock, just so raw. And the thing about it is the raw live performance that I got to see, I mean, I was like six feet away from her and she was playing. And I just, I just remember when she would get up to the mic and she would have to back off the mic. If you ever see them live, she'll actually back off the mic because you hear about singers changing their embouchures and their vocal setups and their cues or whenever they tour so they can sustain, right? So it means they, they don't sing as loud. They may change their tone to save their voice and they get close to the mic and manage it. And you have to, because when you're on tour, just like anything else, you can destroy your vocal cords. I just remember that when we saw, when I saw them, she had to back off the mic by almost eight to 10 inches because she was like, I mean, she was like, like her vocals, like, uh, I was like, I was like, she's never going to be able to sing again. But no, apparently the next night they were in New Orleans tearing the house down. So anyway, uh, my name is Old School Nerd. You're watching uh, without, the vi without the volume here, uh, uh, replaying that again. Um, back from the Dead. Uh, this is Hailstorm and they're back, which is awesome. Uh, don't forget to check out the tour coming out. Um, check out Hailstorm, uh, their, their official website. Just type in Hailstorm in Google. It'll come right up. Uh, Syracuse, New York, you're the first show of the, uh, of the season, I guess. And, uh, you guys are pretty lucky for that. Um, looking forward to seeing them live on the road. If they come down through the South, through, uh, I-10 corridor, uh, New Orleans, Houston, Lafayette, Baton Rouge, anywhere in there, probably going to catch them. My name is Old School Nerd. This was Hailstorm. This is the new one. Back from the dead. Oh.